Welcome to Travels with Alice. Today, I'll be taking you around the region of Pas-de-Calais in the north of France. This region, a jewel of the country, is relatively unknown. In the region, I was able to experience life as a French person with no other tourists around me. If you want to live like a local, drink fabulously crafted beer, explore the beauty of the marshes, a sort of Venice of the north, and visit pristine beaches, Pas-de-Calais is the place for you. Join me to explore the historic village of Saint-Omer, France. I was based in Saint-Omer, a village known for its export of cauliflower, being the birthplace of Anne Boleyn's executioner and a medieval town, and a golden age of philosophy and learning. Saint-Omer was the place to be for a Catholic in the time of Elizabethan penal laws. Englishmen crossed the pond and American colonists came to Saint-Omer in order to live at the English Jesuit College. Among those men were three carols from America, Daniel, later a senator and signer of the Constitution, Charles, who signed the Declaration of Independence, and John, who was the first Archbishop of the United States and founder of Georgetown University. The town today is small and still captures its historic ties. The ruins of an abbey lay at the heart of the town, a popular place during the Romanticism movement to come picnic and draw under the ruins. In the center of town, a market appears every Saturday, and in the town hall, an abandoned 19th century theater, complete with all the old machinery that wheeled on and off the sets of the day. The whole town is a museum of sorts, with medieval ties, homes from the 1200s, libraries out of Beauty and the Beast, and the most gorgeous architecture. Today we'll go inside the cathedral, right in the center of town. The cathedral is a sight to behold. It rises up in front of you and part of it was recently restored. Inside, it even boasts of Rubens, but treasures abound in every nook and cranny. Of particular interest is a clock that tells the lunar calendar presented to the cathedral by the Sun King, Louis XIV. A giant organ occupies most of the space near the front door. The most preeminent organ maker in Europe at the time created it and it's still played every Sunday at mass. The whole area is just beautiful and super easy to bike around. I spent hours biking on the country roads. Make sure you check out Graveline. It's a fortified town in the shape of a star right next to the water. On a clear day, you can even see the coast of England. There are all kinds of water sports that abound from sailing to kayaking. Dunkirk is definitely a must see and you might even run into a parade like I did. The Tavern du Westhawk in the tiny town of Quadip is not to be missed. Check out the regional fair. Don't leave this region without trying moule frites. Yum. And you might even get to play in a tournament of patonque, the French national pastime, and hear the strains of an accordion. If you want to get into the culture, Pas de Calais is the place to be. The people are welcoming and the food is incredible. It's easy to get everywhere on the train, 